Good morning. Good morning, my nasties. We have, guess what? Surprise, surprise, a busy day today. So, of course, today is going to be a studio vlog day. I've got my coffee all ready to go. Iced coffee, clearly, just black. Nothing fancy, nothing special, just black coffee. But today I have, what do we have planned for today? See, I don't have my paper in front of me with it written down. It's on the other desk. But I remember, we have, I hope, because my scatterbrain. So today I'm going to attempt to scan some, if not all, of the my 80s ladies. I haven't given them an official title yet, although wait, that's a lie. I have an official title in the back of my mind, but I haven't made it official. So I am going to attempt to scan them. Now the problem with these is that I, well let me tell you what I'm doing first. So we're going to be scanning, um, potentially scanning and photographing these babies. Then I'm going to be, I don't know in what order we're doing any of this, but this is what's going to be accomplished today. Scanning and or photographing of those babies. And then I'm going to start a new sketchy Saturday in this sketchbook. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe it's going to be either one of these two. It's going to be this or this highly stylized self-portrait of me. Uh, yeah, I think maybe this. So we are going to be starting a sketchy Saturday scanning artwork and packaging orders. I feel as though I'm forgetting something, but I don't think so. If I can cram anything else into the day, I will, but those are the priorities. So let's get on with the day. Bentley says, hello. He says, how dare you for not telling the people that I am in the room, although technically he's in the hallway barking, but he has been acknowledged. Now let's get on with the day. Actually, I was supposed to circle back and tell you why <laughs> these may pose a problem. So. I have an entire day and all I'm going to do is squeeze in a little bit of sketchy Saturday work and order packaging and scanning these. Girl, what? Don't be lazy. No, I'm not being lazy. But I'm anticipating running into a ton of issues with these because, oh, I know what else I'm going to do today. This reminded me. I am going to place my semi-annually is it semi-annual at this point? Yeah, my annual end of the year $100 art supply purchase. So we're going to do that as well today. So scanning and photographing these, packaging orders, working on a sketchy Saturday, and then ordering. So <laughs> still not enough to fill a day, right? No, it's not. But these little ladies here are going to cause me quite the headache because as of this moment, I have 30 of them and I've been ruminating over them for months now. I started these at the beginning of the year with absolutely no plan for them. I just sat down and I sketched three of them one night and I thought, these are cute, these are going somewhere and I know exactly which ones they were. I distinctly remember it was this one, this one, or they were, that one, that one, and one more, one more, which is still one of my favorites. Girl, girl, where are you? She ran away. Well, as I'm looking, well, this is one of the first ones. Uh, oh my God, did she run, did she actually get up and run away? Oh, Oh my god, you guys. Should I be worried? Should I be... Oh my god. Oh, you guys. Okay, let's let's try this one more time. Well, now you're going to get to see, basically... Oh, there she is. This one. Jesus Christ. Well, look at her face. She doesn't look none too pleased to be putting up with my shenanigans. So, okay, so these were the first. The reason these are going to cause me issue 
is because I used a combination of materials which are um, notoriously problematic. I have used both neon and pastel colors, both of which are difficult to scan. If you have ever used pastel colors, you understand, and you especially understand me if you have ever used any type of neon, whether it be a marker, a paint, a pen, in some cases, even neon colored pencils are bitches to scan. It, it's it's a whole sciency thing. It's about the light in the scanner, not being able to pick up the pigments and translate them to an RGB screen on the computer and da 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 da. But it's an issue. And so I'm going to do one full run of scanning on these and then I am probably going to have to photograph them all individually. So it's gonna be a nightmare. Why am I focusing so much on these? Because I have a plan for these. I am going to be, it's, it's a big thing, and I will be documenting the process, but I'm going to be selecting my favorites, and I'm going to be turning them into a series of stickers, because these designs are so graphic and so awesome that they are going to translate beautifully to stickers so I will be selling them I've not decided where you guys I'm having we'll have this conversation later in the day when I need a break but Etsy and I are in a little bit of a tiff right now well we've been in a tiff for a long time um, and although I'm not planning on abandoning Etsy, well, just abandoning it, uh, I'm not planning on leaving it fully. Now that I've opened my own art and fashion boutique, one that I run myself, one that I completely designed myself, I'm thinking that I want to sell artwork directly from my website. So. We'll, we'll chat about that a little bit later. So, to summarize once again, what my day is going to comprise of, it is going to be dealing with these ladies, scanning and or photographing them. I'm going to be packaging orders, working on a sketchy Saturday, placing a splurgy art supply, I cannot speak, coffee please, revive me. Placing my splurgy art supply order, and then we'll be talking about my thoughts on Etsy. Forgive the beast, you know there's nothing I can do about it. Life with monsters. What are you going to do? Alright, let's get on with the day. This illustration is going to be barring any technical difficulties and corrupted files and all of that she's going to be a future sketchy Saturday episode she's cute yeah I think she's cute she's clearly some kind of vampiric sass monster I I don't know she's a vampire she's got little bat wing barrettes or hair adornments in her hair anyway she's cute so for those of you who have been waiting for another sketchy Saturday there will be one coming i'm not sure when whenever i finish this thing up and edit it and have it uploaded you know but she's coming anyway here's a little peek at it i hope you enjoy it i think she's cute at this point we are almost over with the sketchbook i only have a, maybe four or five pages left in the sketchbook oh my god this makes me happy it is finally cold enough for sweaters. Show everyone your sweater. No, he can't be bothered. He's too busy sniffing. But finally, finally. I'm wearing one as well. I mean, yes, I'm wearing shorts because it's not freezing cold. But see, I've got my, my chunky chunk on. Come on, what are you doing? Come on. There's a million other bushes for you to sniff. Keep walking. Are we ready to have ourselves a little packaging party? I'm ready. So I received over the course of the previous couple of nights, three orders. So we're gonna go ahead and package all of those. Let me see, let me see my list here. 
I've got three orders for my personal brand. I've got uh, my Etsy, my Cat Eyes and Cat Eyes. Okay, I have three orders for that one. Those I'm not going to package on this channel. That's for Cat Eyes and Cacti. But let's get to these three. So, <laughs> I, I mentioned um, previously, I've already pulled the orders here, but I failed to put my my sticky notes typically what I do is I either separate all of the orders into a bag and then I put the name in there or I put sticky notes on the little piles I didn't do that so we will sort through them in just a moment but it occurred to me that in a previous video in which I was talking about uh, we were doing a packaging video I think it was a packaging video and I said oh I am finally considering changing my branding a little bit because I've had this girl on my package, or rather, on my branding forever, and it's time. She's been on for several years now. And I mean, as a matter of fact, I'm drinking out of this mug today. And I thought, okay, once I run out of these cards, it's time to, to order new ones. Shortly after I had uploaded that video, I did indeed go ahead and completely change all of... Okay, well, when I say completely change, that's a bit of an... That, that's a bit of an exaggeration because my branding is still the same font, the same colors, it's purple, it's very sans serif thin fonts, <laughs> but all I did essentially was remove her from my branding. So if you go to my YouTube or to my Etsy shop or my Redbubble, she is now gone. She's no longer the face of my brand because, I mean, I'm the face of my brand, right? But this darling little spooklet is nowhere and I thought but I still love her that's the thing and I thought okay now it's it's time for new cards yeah well as I was sitting down to film this packaging video I, I needed to grab some more business cards from the closet oh it's gonna be a while until I get new business cards yes business cards are incredibly inexpensive but I'm not one to waste perfectly good materials either. So no, I'm not going to dump this box because this is hundreds of cards. I'm not going to throw them out. That's ridiculous. So, so she ended up getting her way with her devious little side eye and she's going to remain on my branding for quite a bit longer, at least on my business cards. Because like I said, it wasn't a drastic overhaul of my brand. I simply, it was one of those manic nights where I decided today I'm redoing my website and all of my social media. So I redid all of my website in one night. I just reconfigured it. I made it sleeker. And then I went to my socials, my YouTube, my Etsy shop and all that. And I changed all of those. This is all exactly the same. Same fonts, same colors, but it's just <sighs> all of that to say this little thing she's gonna be here for a little while longer okay let's get on with the packaging so first up is an order for Deborah Debbie Deb I know it's you let's see um, she got the mini art gallery sticker bundle and then she got the lovely day of the dead Katrina several several of these orders got the day of the dead got, yep, yep, yep 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 okay so let me ooh, I need to reconfigure my desk situation. All right. You're gonna get one tissue. My life. I feel as though every time I start to get things together, <laughs> something else happens to completely change my trajectory and the path that I'm on. I mean, such is life, right? But, and this is nothing major, this is nothing serious, but I touched on it earlier in the video, but I think I'm going to save it for its own proper video. But I'm thinking that I'm, I'm just about, I'm on the cusp right now of finally selling my artwork through my personal website. So I'm not leaving Etsy entirely. This is a conversation for another day, but I did mention it at the beginning of this vlog. So I'm definitely going to put a pin in it and we will return to this subject later because I feel as though I need to explain myself a little bit more. But ever since I opened my new boutique, Coco Naughty, I love, love, love having full control over the way that my store looks. The design of it, I mean everything, the layout, the design, and just the shopping features, right? I'm not... 
I'm not at the mercy of the Etsy design gods and my page is not being cluttered by other shops either. So that kind of gave me the nudge I needed to say, you know what, Etsy, I may be kicking you to the curb. Not entirely, but we'll, we'll talk about it later. But let's see, this is gonna fit into because all of um, all of October, the orders that came in in October, I was giving them a freebie Bell Pit the Strell sticker. And right now, since it's in my brain that I'm going to be phasing out the spooklet from my branding, you know what we're gonna do? I'm hoping it survives the journey. Do you guys want free bookmarks? These little, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, this one's a little weird on the corner, but I'll give you guys a bookmark, a little mini bookmark. It's a business card slash bookmark because my information's on the back of it, but you can use it in your coloring books if you want. So give you a bookmark, yeah? All right, and I hope that those bookmarks survive the journey in this envelope. I don't see why they wouldn't, but you never know because the post office enjoys chewing up letters and things. So here's hoping everything arrives intact. And oh, let me reach back here and get my little letter liquor thing. Beautiful. Oh, a little too much water on that one. That's okay. That's okay. Deborah, your order is good to go. And actually, since I don't have my sticky notes next to me, I'm gonna write this down. Is nothing gonna work out my way today? Okay, let me let me do one thing correctly today and let me go grab my sticky notes. Next on the chopping block is an order for Patricia. Wait. What does that say? Patri yes, Patricia, oh my gosh. I can't even read my own chicken scratch. Patricia ordered a mini art gallery sticker bundle and, oh, and the mini mini. She got one of each. So one of each of my miniature art gallery sticker bundles. The classic, these, again, these will not be restocked ever in the store. I have a ton of these. So these aren't going anywhere anytime soon. These are the newer batch, so they're allowed to stay. But these, these, these are going bye-bye. Once they're gone, they are gone and they will never be available again. So I'm going to be, let's see, what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be wrapping it this way. And I believe this one is going to, is this one going to Canada, I think? Uh, just a note once again to my international shoppers, my international shoppers, my international supporters, every package that I'm sending out, I'm stuffing in a Coco Naughty card. So that's not necessarily to promote my new business in the sense that, hey, go shop there because I know the aesthetic is not for everyone. But most importantly, it's because the shipping costs are exorbitant right now. I haven't, just that's not, I, I don't feel that there's going to be a solution for that anytime soon because the situation in the world being what it is, right? The shipping is exorbitant. But I'm putting the Coco Naughty cards in here just in case anybody is interested in following that little venture of mine. So I have a social media, I have a YouTube channel, I have all of that. So that's why I'm including all of those. Uh, it's a shameless plug, yeah, but it's not necessarily a plug for you to go shop necessarily. It's just, hey, if you're interested in looking at my photos and my whole life as a fashion monster, go check it out. So there's a little thank you bat. Here's Coco Naughty sneaking up in the back like this. And then of course, God, this one worries me. I don't know if she's going to make it safely, but we can try. We, we can make a valiant effort and hope that she makes it to Canada unscathed. I again, I believe this is going to Canada. Oh, where's my... I need to get a better system than this water dabber thingy because it dribbles all over the place. I mean, it's better than my dribbling, my monster drool all over the place, right? So there's that. But that's why I do it off camera because if not, it would be spilling all over my tissue and that's not good. All right, so Patricia's order is good to go. Let's slap a sticky note on that one. Patricia, darling. Your sticker is good. 
So Deb and Patricia are good. Is Sabine. Oh, Sabine, Sabine, Sabine. Sabine, Sabine. We've, we've had this conversation before. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your name. But she's back. I'm assuming that's a female, right? Maybe. I, whatever you are. Whatever it is, Sabine is back. Thank you, my dear, for showing me so much love. You have an awesome order. You've got prints, originals, and stickers. Yay. So she has, let's see, the <laughs> my little pumpkin spice. I, this one just, it's stupid. It makes me laugh every time. The pumpkin spice latte sticker. The spring florals art print, this gothic, I think I called it the gothic spring. This one is limited edition. Um, well, it wasn't in, okay. It was never released as a limited edition, but it was one of those prints where she had her run. She's been selling for a while in the store and it's time to retire her and to bring fresh stock in. So once these are sold out, they are sold out. Uh, I don't know how many I have left at the moment, but I am positive it is less than 10. Might even be less than five. I will I will be restocking all of my final pieces. By the time this video is up, if you are interested in this print, all of my remaining pieces will already be on Etsy. So if you would like one, hop over there and grab it. But she got the pumpkin spice latte, the gothic spring, the mini sticker bundle. These are hot. These have been hot lately. One of those, another beautiful Katrina, Day of the Dead lady sticker the retro deco wait yes i get this one and deco dolls confused all the time retro deco and the green bat art print signed on the back all of my prints are signed on the back matching ink even look at that Ooh, we got to bag up that baby and the, ooh, the original. Ooh, look at this. It's in the bag, so I'm hoping that the glitter is not lost on you, but check out how cool she is. She's got silver glitter eyeliner, glitter jewelry. She's fabulous. This is so cool. This one took ages to sell. I've had this sitting in the shop for over a year, and I was shocked. All of the illustrations that I made around the time that I created this one, I believe most of them, if not all of them, have already sold, but for whatever reason, my sci-fi themed artwork, she's not overtly sci-fi, but kind of, sort of, you know, in that new wavy type of way. These are not very popular with people. I'm telling you that my favorites are never the top choices. It is so bizarre. It is so bizarre. I will never understand how that works, right? It's all, everything. Everything I produce, all of my favorite pieces, they either are the least popular in terms of prints or they just don't sell. It is so crazy. Sometimes they do, though. Every once in a while they do, but for the most part. So, anyways. And she's blue and silver, which are combinations that I don't even use very often, right? I'm a pink gold girl as opposed to blue silver. Interesting. I need a sleeve for this one. I will be right back. Prepared. When is she ever prepared? <laughs> Preparation. We've got our sleeve. This is a nice calm, well, calm-ish for me, right? Packaging session, all good to go. Just nice and soothing and calm and lovely. I mean, my banshee screeching, you know, notwithstanding. Okay, that's a little bit larger than the back, but that's okay. I attribute it to, I don't know, the weather actually being a little bit cooler today for once in the desert. And when it's cool, that's my excuse to bring out the sweater. You've seen my, my sweatery sleeves, right, as I've been packaging. It's just nice. I've got a candle burning and it's just, it's just lovely. It's a scented candle, a nice warm floral deliciousness not very fall-ish but I don't know, just because it's fall doesn't mean you have to burn designated fall candles am i right no of course not okay these uh are these gonna fit i always forget if this one fits in one of these yes yeah, she does 
Okay, I know these are going international, so we're gonna make sure all of these get plastic. A little plastic sleeve. Oh, come on. Oh, yum. What a cute, colorful little order, yeah? Art prints, originals, stickers. It's just cute. It's the cutest. It's the cutest. It makes me so happy. You guys will have to let me know down below how many of you, if you have an Etsy shop or if you are considering opening an Etsy shop because as I told you, I have that video uh, that I'm going to be filming. I'm not sure if it's going to be just like a, a chit chatty conversation in one of my vlogs or what, but I think my issues with Etsy are kind of universal issues at this point with the artist community. So it's not as though I'm pretending this video is going to be grandiose and self-important, you know, Etsy this and Etsy that. No. Uh, but if it's something that you guys are considering doing and if you want my thoughts on, you know, why I'm leaving, let me know. Uh, so that way I can at least make it a little bit more clear when I release the video that it's, it's an Etsy-centric video because I don't want the messaging to get lost in a vlog. And what I mean by that is if I upload a vlog and then just in that vlog somewhere I insert a conversation about Etsy, people who might be interested in that particular topic will probably not watch the vlog and they won't even know that I ever mentioned it. But if you're interested in my thoughts on Etsy, then I will upload, if not a vlog, then a video, but I will explicitly say like in the thumbnail or in the title, studio vlog slash my thoughts on Etsy, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you're one of those people who's considering Etsy or who has one and you're waffling about staying or leaving, let me know. And I will be sure to uh, keep that in mind when I film that video. All right, we're rambling, but I feel very calm today. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because I had, what did I have to eat today? You know what? I had a big carbohydrate rich dinner. Pasta. I mean, it was, it was vegetarian pasta though, but big crusty Italian bread and butter and just, I'm feeling all kinds of cozy today. Thank you, Vat, of course. My business card, Coco Nati, slipping in through the back. And where are the bookmarks? Where are the bookmarks? Oh, here they are. And a cute little spooky spookalette. Thank you. And let's grab purple envelope because this one's going. This one's going overseas. We gotta bring out the big guns for this one to make sure she's nice and protected. And there you go, Sabine, thank you, darling. Your order is good to go. So let's get on with the vlog, shall we? I'm actually going to package those orders for my other brand right now, but you're not gonna see that. So I'm gonna take a few minutes in silence to work on that brand, and then I will see you later on in the vlog. We have made it to the end of the vlog. I filmed this clip earlier on in the week, so this is not current to my situation at present. I am nice and comfy cozy in my sweater. I even have a mug, that's me tick tapping on my mug, a mug of chamomile tea. I was hoping, I was fully intent on being in bed by 12.30, so half an hour after midnight. Um, <laughs> it is damn near half an hour after 3 a.m. The time got away from me big time. And I'm definitely feeling like a failure because I had every intention today to fall asleep by 1 a.m. I wanted to be in bed by 12.30 and asleep by 1 a.m. without the sleeping pills. Didn't take my sleeping pill. I got distracted. I took a shower. I worked on some planning for the week. I just, before I knew it, nearly 3.30, and I was starting to wonder, why am I not feeling tired? Did my pill not kick in? Girl, you didn't take your pill. <laughs> 
so it's too late for me to take it now because if I take it now I will sleep longer than I need to so hopefully the chamomile tea psychologically helps me sleep today because chamomile does not affect me but placebo effect kick in please because I would like to go to sleep so all of that being said uh, before I sat down to film the end of this vlog I had mentioned earlier that I was soliciting opinions from people who have an Etsy shop or who are considering opening an Etsy shop and I have fully decided to you can go ahead and let me know down below what you think of that uh, the question that I asked you earlier about whether or not you were interested in my opinion but I'm pretty pretty set on making that video because as I was going through the rest of my evening I realized that it's important for me to talk about my thoughts on Etsy because I have been on Etsy for so many years and I have been directing all of you over to my Etsy to shop so I just I feel as though I need to get it all out the pros the cons and I just need to lay it bare before I go do anything drastic, such as open my own store. So we'll talk about that later. I'm not abandoning Etsy, but we'll just leave that up in the air and that will be coming. Um, I think we are going to leave that here. The next time I see you, what are we going to be doing next time I see you? Uh, I will be working more on this project here with my 80s ladies and then we shall see. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to be good about leaving my week open. Uh, at least for the rest of the year, I don't want to plan anything too extensive because I have a lot on my plate already. So with that being said, be bad, be good. I don't give a damn which. Thank you for hanging out and I will see you in the next one to my patrons my patreon color fiends they are the ones who have their names in the credits of my videos i've updated the list and the credits are back i took a break from updating the list during my vlogtober slash vlogoween escapade because the names fluctuate people are in and out of my patreon all the time so i thought i'm putting the end screens on pause until we get back to regularly scheduled programming and we are indeed back to regularly scheduled programming so with that i'm taking off now i will see you in the next one